everyone. Welcome back to a series of discussion on cyber security trends. I'm your host Indipreet and along with me we have Divya and Shekhar from Information Security Domain. Today we'll be diving into the world of security orchestration, automation and response or SOAR and the latest developments in its market. Divya and Shekhar, there's a lot of hype going on about security analytics and automation. What do you guys really think are the reasons behind this? Uh, well, very relevant question uh, in the free. Actually, uh, today, uh, you know, the cybersecurity landscape has become very challenging in terms of the kind of attacks that we are seeing, right? So, um, uh, let's take, uh, you know, uh, simple references like uh, because of uh, multi-cloud and hybrid infrastructures, the threat landscape has uh, really increased a lot. Then uh, the increasing number of mobile and IoT devices is again uh, increasing the threat landscape for enterprises and organizations. Also with remote work, uh, devices are being connected to unsecured networks, which is uh, giving um, these attackers more uh, you know, uh, options to ex uh, exploit the vulnerabilities that are present in the network. Now on top of that, the attackers have also become very smart and they have started using uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies to launch attacks. So attacks are becoming more and more complex and sophisticated. Now, if an organization is exposed to such different kind of attacks, it's obvious that they will need to use numerous detection solutions. Now, uh, these different solutions are definitely generating lot of threat alerts at any point of time. And because of that, it is posing huge challenge for SOC analysts today. You are right, Divya. There is a surge of threat alert identified by numerous threat detection tools. Analyzing these alerts is creating alert fatigue in security analysts, and which is leading to analyst burnout and industry is already facing shortage of security analyst talent. Additionally, missing out on actual threat alert in the noise of false positive can have a devastating effect on the reputation of the organization. And these are the challenges SOAR vendors are actually working to tackle. Great. So how SOAR vendors in the market are helping organizations address the challenges posed by the surge of data in their IT infrastructure? Uh, well, uh, in the pre to address these challenges, uh, what vendors are doing is that they are improving their automation capabilities and they are focusing more on big data driven automation. Uh, they are also using advanced analytics like predictive modeling so that they can identify threats and also offering dynamic response workflows which can adjust to the new attack types. Uh, also capabilities like real-time processing is allowing efficient analysis of large data sets and also uh, able to correlate information from different sources to get complete picture of the security landscape. In today's multi-cloud environment, Security analysts face daunting task of juggling between 70, 90 tools simultaneously and leading to tangled web of enterprise domains, teams and protocols. However, vendors are coming up with innovative solutions like low code automation and playbook builders. Uh, for instance, Swimlane Canvas. It is streamlining the orchestration process with its low code playbook builder and it is easing the burden on analysts. Similarly, Torque is offering automation for orchestration and threat alert prioritization. Uh, along with case management automation as well, which is tailored to analyst expertise level. These solutions not only enhance efficiency, but also address the scalability needs of dynamic uh, multi-cloud environments. And tools like Log360 analyze user information to detect anomalies and calculate risk or All right. So as Shekhar just discussed about security analysts needing to juggle between 70 to 90 tools, I'm really curious to know, is it really uh, problematic or uh, causing any problems in the SOCs and the analysts? Uh, well, absolutely in the pre. Uh, since, uh, you know, organizations are using so many different tools for threat detection, it is very important that these tools and solutions are well integrated with the source solution. Uh, because uh, without proper rich data flowing into the source tool and effective commands flowing out of the source tool to other solutions, uh, it becomes very difficult for security analysts to accurately make decisions and respond swiftly to threats. Uh, also, there is one problem that the legacy SOAR integrations, they fall short of uh, uh, whether we call it the depth or the quality in terms of integration capabilities. 
and because of that what happens is that it results in a lot of manual analysis and uh, the SOC analysts have to do a lot of incident response tasks themselves. Hence to avoid all this what vendors are doing is that they are focusing on uh, you know uh, uh, providing features like unlimited vendor maintained integrations and they are also offering a diverse scripting languages so that they can connect with legacy security tools with ease. You have highlighted the excellent point Divya about the importance of uh, integration in modern cybersecurity solution. Vendors like D3 security are offering professionally built and vendor maintained integrations which is ensuring nothing critical is overlooked during the ingestion process. And bi-directional integrations enable synchronization of smart SOAR incidents with the change in any other tool, which is enhancing the overall efficiency. Majority of the vendors such as Fimlin Turbine, ThreatQ are going beyond integrating with API by seamlessly connecting components through diverse scripting language such as PowerShell, SQL and Python. And let's not forget about vendors like Splunk, Palo Alto and Trellix as well who provide an extensive range of out-of-the-box integration for various security stack components including threat intelligence, case management tools, etc. Great. So with these integrations comes a huge number of threat alerts. Are there any developments in processing speed of these alerts? Um, well, uh, vendors today are making significant stride in SOAR innovations so that they can enhance uh, the automated triage processes right from standardizing data during alert investigation, uh, categorizing TTPs for specific alerts, and cross-referencing with frameworks like MITRE ATT&CK and D3FEND. Uh, all of this, uh, it is enabling identification of uh, patterns and trends and allowing the creation of dismissal rules so that it can automatically filter out improbable threat alerts. Uh, furthermore, what uh, the SOAR vendors are doing is that they are trying to streamline the incident management through automated triage and correlation. Now all of this is uh, uh, definitely helping in dismissing the alerts and also reserving human intervention for only high fidelity incidents. And now this not only enhances uh, incident resolution but also empowers security team to prioritize critical tasks and they can uh, ensure a, a good balance between uh, security posture. Absolutely spot on Divya. You have outlined the crucial role of SOAR solutions in enhancing alert investigation process. Vendors like Swimlane are at the forefront of innovation with their Hero AI and uh, Threat Quotient's data link engine. They are aimed at reducing attacker dwell time and they are accelerating the detection, investigation and response process. Contextualization is the key in this process, ensuring that all the data is analyzed within the appropriate context is enhancing the threat response process. D3 SOAR effectively dismisses most of the alerts, reserving escalation for only a small number of high fidelity, high confidence incidents that require a human in investigation. This is made possible by their event pipeline, which conducts sophisticated triage by correlating alerts against identity data and past incidents. All right, Shekhar. So what about the fa false positives that are generated by threat detection tools in the market, Divya? Uh, well, great question because uh, we have been talking about, you know, these false positives. So, um, to address the challenge of false positives, uh, SOAR vendors are enhancing clarity for security team uh, so that they can focus on uh, real threats and they can minimize the time spent on false positives. Now, uh, they're doing this by implementing two automation tiers. Now, the first one is for triage, where which is applied for um, each incoming alert. And the second level of automation is for, uh, you know, investigating and remediating only the validated and verified incidents. Now, this definitely optimizes the efficiency of SOC teams. Also, uh, you know, there is a universal concern among security teams that, um, you know, uh, instinct that they should escalate every alert with uncertainty. Um, but uh, what this would lead to is this would unnecessarily flood and overwhelm the analysts with low fidelity alerts. So, um, and uh, of course, because of that, there will be a lot of time, unnecessary time, which will go on investigating false positives. So, therefore, it is very important to strike the right balance uh, to ensure that only genuine alerts uh, are uh, sent and genuine alerts are not overlooked. 
this brings me to my last question for the discussion today. Um, so how are the vendors utilizing artificial intelligence or to say AI and machine learning that's ML for security automation? Well, one of my favorite questions to answer in the pre, uh, to talk about uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning advancements that's happening in this space. Now, we know that uh, both artificial intelligence and machine learning is making remarkable stride in the cybersecurity landscape. Uh, so what vendors are doing is that they are now integrating GPT and NLP into their platforms so that they can allow real-time responses that can significantly improve both the speed and the accuracy of addressing security issues. Uh, furthermore, so solutions uh, also enable users to swiftly create uh, tailor-made cybersecurity automation workflows using natural language descriptions. Now, this AI-powered feature reduces manual effort. Uh, it also streamlines processes and integrates seamlessly with ChatGPT for real-time and accurate user response, uh, thereby enhancing speed and precision of resolving security issues through advanced natural language processing. Swimlane stands out in this regard. Their hero AI helps create complex scripts in just few seconds with the use of NLP and automation. Uh, with human in the loop validation to create custom workflows, uh, it is streamlining operations and enhancing the overall efficiency. And Smart Adaptive Threshold, a recent addition in Log360, it is a game changer in real time threat detection and response. It is powered by machine learning's EMA algorithms, and these features en enable SOC teams to set up multiple alert profiles across the network without cumbersome configurations. Thank you, Divya, and thank you, Shekhar, for an indeed insightful discussion on today's discussion topic that is security, analytics, and automation. For our viewers, stay tuned for next episode.